hypothalamic obesity and as an overview with kind of what we've experienced with our son. Um, his brain was damaged due to his brain tumor, um, a craniopharyngioma. So he has that brain tumor. They did a biopsy of it, um, mentioned that the hypothalamus could become upset. And upon our completion of surgery, took our son a really long time to kind of recover from surgery. And um, then they treated a majority of the tumor, they treated it with radiation because it was wrapping around his pituitary gland. So we really saw this beast of hypothalamic obesity and hyperphagia kind of come about after radiation. Um, after he got done with that, it was, it's this steady decline since he completed his 30 rounds um, of his intense urge and need to have food at all times, um, never feeling full. The eye opener for my husband and I um, was when we still kind of had our house as a regular house, like with the kitchen and food and cabinets. And Silas got into a jar of peanut butter and he ate the peanut butter. And we were awoken to him in the middle of the night, laying in a pool of his own vomit, still trying to eat the peanut butter. And so that was kind of like my big aha moment when I realized this isn't my son being naughty and telling me no, this is a whole nother monster that I'm dealing with, um, driving my son and driving his urge to get food. So at that point is kind of when we had to start locking cabinets, locking our fridge, restricting food, because it, if he got his hands on it, he wouldn't stop eating it. And then he would begin to get sick and vomit. So, and then that would bring us into the ER with sodium issues. So when his hypothalamus was damaged during surgery, that was the initial beginning of this disease. We noticed him in the hospital, um, very rapid weight gain. He, he was gaining every day like eating and gaining weight quickly. And part of it, it was hard because we were in the hospital, so we were trying to get him to eat, but it wasn't like the healthiest choices. So we thought once we get home and he's eating healthy, it'll be better, but he continued to gain weight at a, an accelerated pace. Um, and his, so that was kind of like the big, the first big indicator. And then kind of as his food the drive of food changed, um, him asking for more food. When do I get to eat again? Um, I'm still hungry, I'm still hungry. Silas, you just ate. So just that little bit of asking for it and, and wanting it, and then it went to the point where he was sneaking it. So I would say it's, it started out gradually and it just kind of built up and got worse and worse and worse.